Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. It's so great to be back um, here on Facebook sharing our weekly update and reflection on you as we go into this coming week. And uh, I hope that you had a, um, a fun, restful, maybe it was a busy Christmas season, but that you're looking forward to uh, this new year. You've turned a page on a new year. There's new things to discover, new things to journey into in 2024. And so it's 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 good to be able to be together doing this and so I'm, I'm excited i'm excited about what this new year could bring and i'm reminded of one scripture verse i shared on sunday i read from revelation 21 that he is always making things new always making things new so there's there's new things to look forward to as we head into this into this year and i wanted to share something with you um from this past week, uh, I took an opportunity to take a couple days of, of fasting and being with the Father, and it wasn't what I expected. And so I just wanted to share something to hopefully encourage you uh, in your journey of spiritual practices as you look at 2024. And so my question for you is how many of you, when you think about exercise, are overcome with either a sense of maybe dread or overwhelm or the shoulds, meaning I should but I really don't want to or even know how to get started. And how many of you know that when you do exercise, even just a little bit, and maybe even going for a walk, you feel good and it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as you might have thought it could be. And so if you're following me kind of on this train of thought, there are things in life that we don't always want to do, but they're good for us. They're good for us. And when I think about the spiritual practice of of fasting, I can experience a little bit of dread and overwhelm and the shoulds uh, that many experience when the whole concept of exercise is brought up. And so this past week, I did spend three days uh, fasting and taking time with the Lord as I look ahead to the coming year, to 2024. Uh, it's something I do try to do yearly. I know it's a good idea. I know I should do it. I know it's good for me. I put it in my calendar. I communicated to the right people. This is what I'm doing, so expect minimal communication. I've been preparing for it with, you know, what does my space look like? Where am I gonna do this? Liquids, asking the Lord, like, you know, what are we gonna be doing? Not really hearing anything. <laughs> So I did it between Wednesday and Friday last week, and Wednesday morning comes, here we go, going to do this. And I felt such delight from the Father, like I've had this excitement inside, but I could tell it was from my spirit, and there was this deep joy, and I just sensed that he was just, he was so excited that we would be spending these next three days together, and he was so looking forward to our time and what I would discover. And I had the best, the best three days with the Lord. And it was so much easier than it had been in the past. And I'm, I'm kind of still basking in the overflow of it. And I, I actually look forward to doing it again, which this is the first time <laughs> that I would say that after going through a period of fasting. And so I say this to encourage you because spiritual practices like reading scripture, like praying, they can feel hard. They can feel overwhelming. You're, you, know, you can be uncertain where to start. And, and that's true. And it's real. At the same time, God is so excited to be with you, to have that time with you, whether you're reading or just talking with him or just sitting in silence, just being, maybe you're journaling, maybe you're going for a walk and wanting to be present to, to him. And for me, um, at least this time, I didn't put any expectation out of what I needed to accomplish. I was just open. You know, I pushed aside any pressure that I needed to hear something profound. And I was just sitting setting time, I was just setting time aside to just be with him. And so what I'm saying is, as you look at developing a practice of reading the Bible or even praying, he is going to help you. Uh, he so wants to spend that time with you. He will help you. And I want to encourage you to be open and let him lead you and show you how delighted he is to spend time with you. He loves to spend time with his children, with his sons and his daughters, with his kids. And so he will help you and he'll make a way. And so I, want, I just pray that this week that you'll know his delight in ways that are unique to who you are and that you'll recognize those moments of delight. And just a quick update. <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> a quick update. We were going to be starting a series on discovering the Bible starting next Sunday. 
where we uh, would unveil some of the overarching narrative, how to read it, structure, and origins of the scriptures. Um, we're going to delay that a little bit into later in this first quarter. Um, and so a small change starting January 21st, we're going to actually start a series on Psalm 23 and digging into what it looks like to be cared for by the Good Shepherd. And I'm so excited about this series and what we're going to learn together about living in community under the care of the Good Shepherd. He knows us so intimately. And like I talked about on Sunday, he knows everything everything about us. He knows what we need. Uh, he knows us. And so, and he, and so in the fact that he knows us, he knows how to care for us. And so I'm so looking forward to digging in to this with you. Um, I've been digging into understanding uh, from, a, from Real Shepherds, reading some books on Real Shepherds, um, that really brings the psalm to life. And there's some really wonderful things that we're going to uncover together as a church. And so starting January 21st, we're digging into that. So bless you as you go into your week. And as I shared, May you know the delight of the Father to spend time with you and to be with you. And may you trust him to show you how to best do that for you. So have a great week and we'll see you on Sunday.